This is for serious fishermen only. You can only catch two fish. They have to be minimum 14 inches. You can't use bait. The lures you use have only one hook on them and you have to cut off the barb. That's why you hardly ever see any people fishing down here. If you follow the creek all the way down, you'll see spots way back in there that you probably can get huge lunkers, huge trout. We didn't have time to hike back that far. This is the dam. This is the road going to the dam. So there's the lake, the dam. Then take one sweep. There's the road. Give you an idea of where this little fishing spot starts. This is a game refuge. There we go. When the lake gets high because of water from snow and rain, then they open up the dam. Probably could get some trout in the shady area there. But as you can see, it goes back and back and back. And right over those trees, way back there, is where you get your big ones. You got to be a real serious fisher to even get involved with this kind of stuff. This is where we camped. This is the fireplace that Brian cooked us hamburgers. We had clam chowder and Smurfs or Smurfs, whatever. And this will give you a view of the lake from where we are camped. Right about there is where a rattlesnake crawled over me while I was trying to get to sleep. Couldn't because some people down right over there were yelling and screaming whoopee because they had killed a big rattlesnake. And we're gonna cook it for breakfast. This will show you from our campsite. Can you imagine the stars shining? You're in a tent and you're looking at something like this. All of you unfortunate people that live in the city and like the city. Sorry, you city slickers, but you can't touch this. There's the dam. And you can see the water is really low compared to what it used to be. And when those floodgates open and go to the small little stream area, you better believe you'll catch some huge fish. Well, I hate to say goodbye to all this and get back to that stinking city but that's what we have to do look at all those places where them humongous fish can just be sitting waiting
And this is what we get to look at at the other side of the road where we were camping. No sidewalks, no cement buildings, no parking lots, no muggings, no smog, except some places where some rattlesnakes may be uh, sleeping. And it uh, is not too comforting having them crawl over your arm in the morning while you're trying to get some sleep. Whoops, we missed a blue belly lizard, but there was a couple of those running away.